Hi guys, so um, on the trip up to Leamington Spa, I was just having a, a bit of a think around the barrier into electric cars, and that's always generally been cost. You know, whenever you speak to an ice driver, apart from the, you know, they can't go very far, they can't do this, you can't do that in an electric car. It's generally, well, they're too expensive, so, you know, I couldn't possibly own one. Um, and to be honest, that's changing. So not only are we getting more of the Chinese manufacturers coming out, which means like um, cheaper models, um, you know, and um, better ranges. I mean, you've only got to see MG. They're, they're owned by a Chinese um, company and their MG products are really good. Um, and some of the, um, some of the new um EVs from uh, from China that are coming out are just insane with some of the ranges, and I'm sure they'll make their way over, and they're already starting to make their way over into Europe and you know potentially in the UK. So that's one way. But the other way is that recently I've moved across to onto uh, a car subscription service essentially, and I don't actually think that it's that bad. I mean. I'm sure people out there will disagree and they'd rather own their own car or, you know, um, lease like normally and stuff like that. But for £399, I get the car, um, I get a reasonable amount of mileage per month, um, which is like, at the moment, a 1000 It will go down to 750 but you accumulate those miles. So if you don't do much in, I don't know, month one or month two, they roll over to the next one. So you're actually never really gonna have too many problems with that, unless you're doing insane miles. Um, your insurance is included, your maintenance is included, you get uh, the charge cards from uh, some of the uh, manufacturers, not all, uh, to make it um, easier, that's all included. Um, and that's one monthly sort of amount, there's no deposit up front, you just literally pay what you're going to do. They deliver the car, um, and when you're finished with it, they pick up the car. You know, it's 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 as simple as that. So, so really, there is there is more options probably than ever before to own an electric car. So I don't think the excuse is that they're too expensive um, is really much of a factor. Now, I'm I'm not too much of a snob that that you know not everyone can still afford one. You know, three hundred ninety nine pound a month is still a lot of money and a lot of money to to me, you know, and to other people. So, you know, there are things like that, but the second-hand market for EVs now, whilst the prices have gone up, there's stuff out there. If you're only doing, you know, local trips and things like that, why not just buy a, a, a cheap six or seven grand Nissan Leaf? You'll get a good 60 miles out of it, which doesn't seem a lot, but if you've got home charging, and actually you're doing, I don't know, the, the average trip, is, which is like 25 miles a day, that's ideal. Um, you know, it's it's a perfect little kind of commute car. So I think just don't discount them just because you instantly see all these adverts for like, you know, Teslas and uh, Jags and all that sort of stuff, which are, are expensive. They're expensive cars. Um, cheaper cars are coming. Now it's not going to be quick like any technology. And let's face it, EVs are technology. They're, they're less about cars and more about a product or a tech, a bit of tech, like a phone. Um, if you treat them like that in the fact that when new tech comes out it's expensive and when like it's bedded in for a while the cost comes down that will happen and it is happening with electric cars so it's exactly the same principle i would say um shop around go second hand if you if you need to uh car subscription services or leasing um and then more importantly go out and actually try them you know if you're on the fence or you're one of these skeptics go to a dealer or something and just go and try one have a trial and see if it if it fits but use channels like myself and other youtube channels and things like that to find the information you need around really how electric cars are because more often than not uh, dealers will kind of just tell you any old crap to get you into a nice car rather than anything else unless you get like a really good sort of dealer that's less biased so just bear that in mind if you're looking for a new car um you know there's dealers out there that are purely in it for funny enough for their own pocket and not for what kind of car you really want 
Um, so don't be scared about going electric at all. Um, it's coming, it is the way forward. It's only a matter of time before it fully takes over. Uh, petrol and fuel prices at the moment are through the roof. Um, so, you know, the demand for electric cars are just gonna go through the roof and places like where I am at the moment in rugby, where you've got like 11, 12 uh, chargers, that's gonna become the norm. So um, yeah, or, or this video is really just kind of, if you're on the fence or you're looking around or you're thinking, oh, they're just too damn expensive there's options out there for you. So, you know, explore those options. Don't just go, it's too expensive because the the advert says it's 45, 50 grand for a car. Doesn't have to be like that. You know, just, you don't necessarily need the latest and greatest um, to own an electric car. Anyway, another video from me. Hope everyone's doing really well. Thank you for the continued support. And uh, until next time, I'll see you on the next video. Cheers guys, bye.